find square root of i. Now i is you know is square root of negative 1 by definition r is square root of negative 1. So any number can be written as a complex number so square root of i can also be written as a complex number. So we'll start like this let i or square root of i is equal to x plus y i. Okay where x is the real part and y i is the imaginary part. Okay. I'm going to square both sides. So i is x plus y i the whole squared, which is equal to x squared plus 2xy i plus y squared i squared. y squared i squared. My pen is playing up. y squared i squared. This implies i i squared is negative 1 because if i is square root of negative 1 i squared is negative 1 so this can be written as i is x squared minus y squared plus 2xyi this implies x squared minus y squared plus 2xy is equal to now this i I'm going to write as 0 plus 1 i i is same as 1 i so you can compare x squared plus y squared with 0 and of course this is 2 y i 2 y i and you can compare this 2 x y with 1 okay therefore I can say this implies x squared minus y squared is 0 and 2xy is equal to 1. So, so let us say this is equation result A and say this is result B. Okay. I want to find x and y basically. What's the value of x and y? So we know x squared minus y squared is uh, 0 and x squared plus 2xy is 1. Okay, now I'm going to write an identity or a formula x squared plus y squared, the whole squared, is equal to, can I write this as x squared minus y squared, the whole squared, plus 4x squared y squared. If you think about this, if you expand this left hand side, this is x raised to 4 plus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to 4. This is x raised to 4 minus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to 4. Sorry, this should be squared here. x squared minus y squared, the whole squared when you expand is x raised to 4 minus 2x squared y squared plus y raised to 4. And here you got plus 4x squared y squared. Okay, now this implies, or this is equal to, x squared minus y squared is 1. So I hope you understand from this, I can write 4x, if you square both sides, 4x squared y squared is nothing but 1. So this is nothing but 0 squared plus 1. Therefore, I can say x squared plus y squared, or this implies I can say x squared plus y squared is equal to the whole squared. This implies x squared, x squared plus y squared the whole squared is equal to 1, which implies therefore x squared plus y squared is 1 and x squared minus y squared is 0. So if you treat this, suppose say this is this is A and this is say C. This is say sorry, this is this is a let us say this is C. So this is C and this is A. So if you can cancel this too. So 2x squared is equal to 1, which implies x squared is equal to 1 half, which implies x is plus or minus 1 over root 2. Okay. So let's write this again. x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, and x squared minus y squared is 0. 
okay now if you subtract so if you take away you can understand so this and this gets cancelled let me cancel with a different color uh, and uh, this will be 2y squared is also 1 which implies y is again plus or minus 1 over square root of 2 so x is 1 over x is plus or minus 1 over root 2 and y is plus or minus 1 over root 2 but 2xy is positive 2xy we say it is 1 that is it's positive so x and y are either both positive or both negative which implies x and y are both positive or negative you can't have a positive x and a negative y okay so this therefore now square root of i is x plus y i therefore i can say square root of i is plus 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i 1 over root 2 i which can be written as plus 1 sorry plus if you factor out the plus 1 over root 2, you have 1 plus i. Or, you can also have square root of i is minus 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 i. And if you factor out minus 1 over root 2, you'll again have 1 plus i. Therefore, generally, uh, i square root of i is plus or minus 1 over root 2 times 1 plus i.